Okay, so let's talk about Stranger Things Season 4 and what can we expect to see in Part 2 as well. We'll definitely talk that about all of that as well. So make sure that you're subscribed, turn that notification bell on so you know when those videos drop. But let's get right into it. So pretty much we saw that at the end of Season 3, Hopper had been stuck in that Russian prison and Eleven had lost her powers and everybody had pretty much split up. Well, we have some reunions this time and let's talk about them. So pretty much we're going to start off with Hopper and talk about his escape from Russia, which was very much so something we were wanting to see, but we sort of got it, but not all the way, right? So when he first tried to escape, ultimately was captured and taken to go fight a Demogorgon that was also captured in the Russian prison. And I was just like, damn, they get down to some very weird stuff over here, don't they, with these fights. However, he is then saved by Joyce, but we definitely see them still stuck in Russia. So that's definitely going to be something that will be picked up in part two, we will see. So we also see that we are very much so having a new monster out there killing teens. And the way that they do it is by sort of trapping you in your own hell and making yourself suffer as much as you can through your own trauma and eventually gouging your eyes out. So talk about a very, very messed up way to go, right? So this is ultimately all pinned on Eddie, who is running the Hellfire Club. And I like the whole thing that this thing did with the whole satanic panic thing that was very prominent during this time of this like moment that they are showing. And was very much so something I want to talk about some more in the upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. But the rest of the gang are trying to clear Eddie's name and they are going to go and find out exactly what this monster is doing and where it is. And they dub this monster Beckna. So Beckna is very much so our big bad here. And it looks like they're targeting Max as well using the trauma of everything that happened with Billy in order to get to them. And they are going to have to race to finish this off before I can do any harm to Max, of course, and anybody else. They eventually find that the monster will very much so create gates every time someone was killed. So they try to go to these areas to try and find one of these gates, reach the upside down and take care of it before it does any other harm. Steve is the one that finds one of the gates, but is pulled into it and eventually leads him to having to fight a bunch of monsters that do severely wound him it seems but he's still alive so he's definitely needing to get out of this as soon as possible they try to go into the um upside down the rest of the gang they do they group up with steve and then they eventually go to nancy wheeler's house where she apparently has a bunch of guns but it turns out that no guns here because the upside down is actually stuck in a certain time and this is a time that is like not the one where Nancy has all the guns. It's more in the past. It could be also that Vecna is also trapping Nancy as well in this uh, time period, especially due to everything happening with Barb that happened in season one. So we definitely will see more of that by the end of it. We'll talk about it as well. But as the rest of the group try to escape, Nancy and Steve get left behind. And now the Vecna has Nancy trapped and ultimately will use her now to very much so i feel lure the rest of the ones back or just ultimately kill her so we actually do learn vecna's true identity as well by the end of the season and we learn that vecna is the son of victor creel as you know victor creel was the one with the creel murders now victor creel had been committed due to the murders of the creel family and we learned that it was actually the son that did all of these murders as he was sort of this telekinetic prodigy of sorts and his family wanted to put him into a sort of ward because they didn't feel he was like safe and all of this. So he commits these crimes and his father is ultimately the one that is framed for all of this. Dr. Brenner sees this and tries to get him to become a sort of prodigy for him as well in the lab. But he decides that he's just going to create more children like him and he will be dubbed number one. And we actually see that he is the one who also puts Eleven in a trance and sort of has them kill everybody in the lab and let him go and be free. But just as Eleven is made to sort of believe that they will join forces and become something greater, Eleven gets out of this trance and sends him into the Upside Down. And this is the first time the Upside Down has ever been sort of like viewed or mentioned in the um, show itself. 
So this very much so leads us to believe that 11 did cause the upside down or created it, or maybe it was a dimension that was there before a dark dimension and is sort of now being made itself. Like it's a whole new world. After seeing all of this happen, of course, Vecna is out for revenge against 11 for everything. And I believe trying to get into our real world and out of the upside down. And that's where we are left off with this whole ordeal still going on. Nancy Wheeler needing to be saved and just a bunch, a bunch of questions, right? I thought it was a pretty interesting twist to see that Peter was actually the Creole family son and see him turn into this monster Vecna. And I feel like in a way you could definitely say that the reason he became so much more powerful by the end of it all is because Eleven had sent him into the Upside Down. So I think this is going to definitely make Eleven feel a little type of way that she was the reason that now Vecna is as powerful as they are because they're in this Upside Down instead of dealing with Vecna in this world. And of course, the Demogorgon in the first season was able to escape through this portal after everything that happened between Peter and Eleven. So there's a lot of things tying Eleven to the Upside Down and its creation and everything we've seen from it since. So I think that we're definitely going to be getting a lot of guilt from Eleven the next couple of episodes that we have left for part two. So like I said, I think it's great the way they've introduced Vecna. I really enjoyed the more horror aspects of this season compared to previous seasons that felt of course more sci-fi i thought that this one was definitely one that was pushing the envelope in the horror especially for a show that was sort of not really um pushed towards like a younger audience but i think a younger audience definitely adapted this show into their own as well because yes we still do in fact have one more season before the show fully wraps and i'm curious to see if what is next after Vecna, especially considering Vecna is such a powerful being, but we will definitely talk about that in my season five theory video, which will come out later this summer. So stay tuned for that. But like I said, we are definitely going to get a good next two episodes that are about four hours long. So I can see how they are setting this all up to be one big movie, as they say. So those episodes will come out sometime in July. So make sure you're subscribed and notification bell turned on so you know when those videos drop when I talk about those episodes. But let me know your thoughts and your opinions on this season. What do you think about the whole thing with Victor Creel's son being the one behind it all? I was actually thinking that the monster itself when we saw it in the trailers was going to be Billy or was going to be Victor Creel themselves. Definitely did not see coming that the son of Victor Creel had basically become the killer of them and was the whole reason this whole thing with Eleven started. So I love that the season's taking it all back, putting all of the pieces together as to what exactly was the cause of all of this in season one. And it's crazy too to think that Eleven is the reason for the Upside Down and the one that created the Upside Down or opened the portal to it. We're not entirely sure if it was there before or not, but I really do like the fact that it's all tied back to that because just makes everything feel whole and the lore even stronger. So anyways, let me know your thoughts and your opinions on this season. If you're excited for season four, part two as well, and you're going to be watching those episodes. And also make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't been already, because we will be talking some more about this season. I have another video on Victor Creel talking more about the whole situation and his son and all of that coming out later today. So make sure you check that out. Check out my videos on Obi-Wan Episode 1 and 2 as well. We had that premiere as well. We had the Top Gun movie come out today. So I have a review for that as well. So if you want to be in the know of all the things you love in movies, pop culture, and all that, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. As always, we are on the road to 25,000 subscribers. We will be doing a giveaway as well when we hit 25,000. So hit that notification bell to know when that video drops. Follow me on all the social medias. Culture Elixir is the name on Twitter and TikTok as well. But as always, I'll see all of you next time. Stay safe. Stay positive, my friends.